Hello and welcome to another show. I'm Sid and in today's video I'm going to be showing you this simple shiny metallic face filter effect in Spark AR Studio with white eyes and white mouth. You can change the colour, you can make this your own but it's basic, pretty simple. Let's get straight into it. Create a new project. All the uh, software I'm using will be linked in the description, all the websites, everything. So just check in there if you have any questions about that. Uh, the first thing you're going to want to do is add a mesh inside of a face tracker and we're going to add a second one so we have two meshes and this top layer here is going to be called this bottom layer here is going to be called eyes mouth because that's for our eyes and our mouth and this one here is going to be called face because we're going to add a material layer to that and we're going to create our face this is uh, where we add what's known as an HDRI so an HDRI is a high dynamic range image, which uh, is essentially a 360 degree photograph of an environment or that is then used to make textures uh, that allow for light reflection and all kinds of realistic inputs into a scene that's being made on a computer. So uh, we're going to add an asset here and we'll go down to our environment textures. These are the presets that Spark AR Studio has by default. I'm going to show you a couple of those today but there is also another place where you can get even more for free over here at hdrihaven.com now this is not my website but I do feel like sharing it because it's a pretty valuable resource for anyone who's getting into this sort of thing uh, this website offers HDRIs, texture packs, all kinds of stuff absolutely free you can download them uh, oh that's not HDRIs. Ah. Yep. Uh, so you can download them for free, and it's basically 360 images with different lighting setups, different, uh, you know, different shading, different shadows, and the different results that you can get from all of these things. They have different sizes. You can download all the way up to the 300 megabyte 16K version. But these are really, really high quality images. And if you want to check this website out, download some textures from here and import them yourself. Feel free to leave a comment, let me know what you're using, what ones work for you, and maybe check this guy's Patreon out, because I imagine it's very expensive to make these kind of things, and supporting him is, you know, keeping this website alive. So, yeah, this is HDRI Haven, but in the meantime, just for learning, we're going to be using some of these default textures. So, if we come over here to our material, which is our face, the first thing we're going to want to do is change the shader type to physically based, because that's what it is a realistic texture based location and we'll come down here and we'll check this box for environment so that we can add one of these three I'm going to choose machine shop first and as you can already see it adds this nice shiny layer of reflection which we can adjust with our surface parameters so we can change the metallic range increase that all the way up as you see it becomes super metallic and shiny and reflective and then you can add a rough edge to make it more chrome or steel or even just completely dull you can have absolutely nothing uh, and you can change the occlusions just the edges but yeah this is pretty much how to do the shiny face feature from here you can adjust the color so you can even come in here you can make it green or red or whatever if you want a gold one we're going with gold, right? So we'll do that, but we'll also adjust it slightly to make it more warm. Something like that. Okay, so as you can see, there is our gold face mesh. Right now, you can see my eyes and my mouth through here, but for the most part, this is looking pretty good. You can adjust the, the range of things as you go, like I said, make things look more or less shiny change the color whatever you feel like I'm kind of happy with that but I do like round numbers so we'll go to 10 uh, yeah so now let's go over to um, eyes and mouth now I'm gonna open up GIMP which is the Photoshop editing software I'm using and I've already made this so I've imported the face masculine uh, JPEG file from the face reference assets pack which Spark AR Studio provides so that's imported in here and then what I've done is I've added a second layer and I've basically just drawn a large white rectangle over the eyes and the mouth so that when I export it out to here and re-import it into here 
I can add my material layer to the eyes and mouth. Set it to flat, clean colors, and then choose the rectangle texture. Okay. Oh, yep, my bad. I have to turn off the. When you If you come over here to the actual face mesh and come over here to eyes and mouth, turn those off. Or the eyes and the mouth. <laughs> and there you have nice white eyes and white mouth. You could do this with any color. Again, you could change the color of this. So I could come over here and make it blue or green or anything I like. But yeah, that's pretty much the effect. If I come over here, I'll show you really quickly some more of these HDRIs. So on the face, if we come over to our environment, we can adjust it here. We go to buildings. What you see is you get different types of reflective properties. So each scene that's been shot has a different 360 setup there's all different uh, background materials different lights different layers so you can adjust that make things more or less clear more or less opaque you can blur out a lot of what that is you know you just it's all about adjusting and figuring things out as you go uh, and this last one that I had here was the courtyard at night which yeah as you can see gives this much it's, it's all about setting the mood it's, a, it's about a mood and an atmosphere with what you're creating what you're trying the effect that you're trying to go for so this is obviously much softer much darker reflecting more street lights and i like this this is nice this has a lot this has a very liquid feel like a terminator t2 kind of i like this so yeah basically uh this is the effect i'll go back over to machine shop which is what the thumbnail was uh Hi, so <laughs> we're here, we made a video, if you enjoyed this, hit like, subscribe, leave a comment below telling me what you thought of my tutorial, how well I explained myself, whether it was actually helpful or not, and anything else you might like to see in the future. Uh, thanks for watching, and enjoy the rest of your day. Bye.